Hi, and welcome back to another video from uh, Guide to SolidWorks. Uh, what we're going to be looking at today is the start of a series of basic models um, just to get us going for those of us that are beginners and interested in learning how to model components. Um, I'm going to go through a set um, of basic little models that will help and teach you some skills along the way that will um, give you the skills to develop components and build up to some more complex things as we go. So what we're going to start with today is this here. We're going to start um, with a SOLIDWORKS Educational Lesson 11. Um, I've got a set of them that we're going to run through. So this is the first one, just to give you an idea of how we work from a drawing and progress into a model. So I've got a drawing here, which has all the ranges of the sides in, which is in an orthographic projection. So we've got our front view, our side view, and our plan view. Uh, of this 3D component. So all of these sizes will help me to develop and draw this component here. So let's start off with making this component. So I'm going to open up a new parts drawing and create this model using SOLIDWORKS. Now I'm going to start off with a sketch and I'm going to start with that back um, L shape from that drawing. So I'm going to start on the right plane and I'm going to sketch on that plane and I'm going to create the L shape at the back. Now I'm just going to draw this out roughly. Does it need to be to size? Just like so. I just want that shape, that L shape from the back. Um, with that L shape, I am going to now start putting some sizes to it and get it to the size that I want. So I want it to be 40 across the bottom. I want it to be 40 at the side. I want it to come 20 across there. I want it to come 10 up from the bottom. And you'll see now how all the lines have gone black. They are now fully defined. If any of them are still blue, then they are undefined and it will tell us down at the bottom here. We always want to make sure that when we're working with sketches, they are fully defined. So now that's fully defined, we can go over to features and we can extrude that shape. So I'm going to extrude my space and I'm going to come out from there 50 forward. So that's going to extrude it 50 forwards. Now I can type the size in, or I could drag it on the same process. Um, now, if I drag it, it's a little bit more inaccurate. So I prefer generally just to type it in if I know the exact size. Tick that, <coughs> and I'll get that L shape like so. Now with this, it also has sort of the C shape on the front, and that comes out but also goes back. Now it's 20 across. There we go. So let's have a quick look. So it's 20 across, but it goes out 10 and goes back 10. Like so, 20 across there. So we're going to create that shape using the front face of this. So I'm going to click on the front face there. I'm going to sketch on that front face. Sketch on that on that front face, and I am going to make sure that my sketch is normal too, so straight on on that front face. Okay, and I'm going to click line, and I am going to draw out that shape. Okay, now it doesn't need to be exact; it doesn't need to be exactly in the right places. I'm just going to draw out that rough shape, like so. Now I've drawn it out, I can work from the sizes again. So I know it's 30 high. That's 10 high. And that is 10 across. So from there you can see again how it's fully defined, all the lines are black, 
so I know we're okay. Now, once we've got that, we can then extrude that face, that feature. So I'm going to go to Features, Extrude that sketch. Now, I don't want it to just come out. I want it to come out and go backwards. So I could do that two ways. I could select two different directions uh, to come forward and go backwards, but there's an easier way. If I go to Direction 1, I can drop this down and go to mid plane. And what that will do is it will extrude it 50% of the value that I've put in here one way and 50% the other way. So this, for instance, goes 25 back and 25 forward. Now I only want that to be 20. So I'm going to turn that to 20 and it will go 10 back, 10 forward to give me a full distance of 20. Take that. Okay, and just to finish off, to get it in the correct view, so we can click our box here. I'm just going to click this top view, and we can see a nice finished model using just some simple techniques. Two extrudes, so a very basic model just using two extrudes. Now, for those of you beginning, hope that helped, give you some techniques to practice, give you a bit of modeling exercises to practice. Have a go, see how you get on. Um, if you like the content, so subscribe, give us a big thumbs up like, and we'll see you in some future videos. Thank you very much for listening and see you soon.